Hey, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. Today's video tutorial will cover writing scans. We're going to go over the basics today to get you started. We'll show you how to work with clauses, how easy it is to generate signals with the crossover operator, how to narrow your universe, how you can add comments to understand your scans, and how to sort or rank your results. So a scan is basically a series of tests, and we write these tests using clauses in the advanced scan workbench. So here you can see a number of clauses, and each clause is closed with brackets. That's very important. And so we take the universe and we narrow it with each of these tests until we get our desired results. Now, in order for the scan engine to test for each of these clauses, we need to join them together. And we need to do that with an AND, an OR operator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an AND before each of these clauses. And so that means now I want country to be US, type to be stock, close to be above 10, moving average of volume to be above 100,000, and 50-day moving average to be above 200-day. So all those criteria must be met in order to be included in the scan results because I'm using the AND operator to join them. Now, it's important that you set your universe at the beginning of your scan. So if you start scanning for, say, I want the 50-day to be above the 200-day moving average, then it's going to look at everything in our universe to see if the 50-day is above the 200-day. And that's going to include U.S. stocks, Indian stocks, London stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, everything. And in order to make that scan run faster, you need to set your universe at the beginning. So maybe you want U.S. stocks. And here I've got three indexes I'm using. Group is S&P 500, group is S&P 400, and group is S&P 600. But I need to join them together to close that group and make it one universe. Now, if I join these three clauses with AND, I would basically get nothing because none of these stocks are members of all three indexes because all three of these criteria must be true. And instead of AND, I need to join this with OR. So I want to have group is S&P 500 or 400 or 600. Now, I'm going to show you this advanced scan editor, editor button at the top right. You see the yellow button. And if I click on that, you can see I'm going to get some help. I've got a little yellow triangle with an explanation point. And that is because when you have OR clauses, you need to join the entire group to close that entire clause. So if I hover over that, it says OR clauses should be wrapped in a parent bracket clause. And so if I go to the beginning and I add a bracket, and then if I go to the end, and I add a bracket, that will be closed, and I do not have any warning signs now. So now I've set my universe to basically be the S&P 1500, and that will make my scan run a lot faster. Now we can also add comments to our scans by adding two forward slashes. So if I do two forward slashes, anything, anything to the right of these two forward slashes will be ignored by the scan engine. So here I can just add in universe and S&P 500. And that kind of tells me that this is my universe as far as the group I want to start my scan from. So if you notice at the top right, I've still got the advanced editor on. And I'm going to leave that on for just a little bit to show you one more cool function that will help you with your scans. So what I like to do is I like to group my scans into three parts. The first part is basically setting my universe. So sometimes I want ETFs, sometimes I want stocks. I'm only starting with the S&P 1500, then that makes this scan really fast because I've narrowed my universe quite a bit. We have over 10,000 symbols in our database and I've just narrowed it down to just 1500. Now the second part of my scan usually involves conditions. And these are general conditions I want the stock or the names I'm looking at to meet. And the first general condition is I want the close to be above the 200-day moving average, an uptrend. And the second general condition is I want the 250-day moving average of volume to be above 
$1.1 million. I want some liquidity. Now, since I've got the Advanced Scan Editor button on still, you can see over on the left there, we've got a red box with a white X, and that means there's an error. And so if I hover over that, you can see I'm going to get missing left parentheses. And you can see close doesn't have a left parentheses, but you know it really doesn't need one because it's not a clause like SMA 200 comma close that needs parentheses. So I can just remove that and then you can see the red box with the X disappears and that means my scan is correct. The second thing to point out here is that I've joined these two clauses with the conjunction and. So I want this first part to be true and then I want both of these to be true because I'm using and. That means both have to be true to meet the criteria. Now I can also add a little note to the right side of this scan if I want. If that's my first condition. I want the close to be above the 200 day. And then the second condition is I want the volume to be above 1 million on average. And so that makes it easy for me to keep track of what I'm trying to write here. So for the third part of my scan, I want some sort of signal. And that usually involves a crossover, which is that X there you see joining those two expressions. So basically I want the MACD line to be crossing above the MACD signal line. And you can see I've closed it with brackets and I'm like, well, wait, there's a red X there, a red box with an X, what's wrong? Well, just hover over that and you can see missing clause joiner. So I need an AND to fix that. And if I just click, it will fix it by adding an AND. And you can see I don't have any warnings or errors and so this scan looks to be correct. Now the last thing I want to add to this scan is a rank by and at the bottom the last line you can only use rank by as the last line so I've typed rank by and then I've chosen volume as my criteria. You could rank by RSI 14, you could rank by the MACD value if you want even but this will sort the results with the highest volume stocks at the top. So once the scan is set the way I like it, I can go down to the bottom and click the Run Scan button and I will get a new window and I will see all the results that meet all those criteria and it is one, Coca-Cola. So this tutorial gives you some basics on writing scans. If you want some more detailed information, you can scroll down to the bottom of the web page and you will see some links for instructions, writing scans, scan examples, and predefined scans. And there you can find all the details needed to take your scanning to the next level. And that concludes this video on writing scans. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos for more information. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.